Hurricane Barrel is slamming Mexico's eastern coast this morning. On the Yucatan Peninsula, locals and travelers are trapped by extreme conditions, with the Category 2 storm carrying winds up to 110 miles an hour. The area includes tourist hotspots like Tulum, Playa del Carmen, and Cozumel. The storm weakened slightly after devastating Caribbean islands earlier this week, and the Texas Gulf Coast is now bracing for impact as well. Our Janet Shamlin is in South Padre Island, Texas, with the latest. So, Janet, first, let's get to Barrel. It has made landfall in Mexico. What do we know so far? Hi, Lindsay. Good to be with you today from South Padre Island. You're right about that. It came ashore as a Category 2. That's much weaker than the Cat 5 that made landfall uh, closer to Jamaica a couple of days ago. But nonetheless, it just happened within the last couple of hours, so they're still assessing damage there. What that means, though, is that it's going to weaken further as it passes over the Yucatan Peninsula and into the Gulf, and then it stands a chance of restrengthening. But in terms of what it has already done, at least seven deaths have been attributed to this storm. It is the earliest Cat 5 Atlantic storm on record, Lindsay. How are people preparing? Yeah, so it's a big weekend here in South Padre Island, right? Hundreds of people out here already early this morning. There is a voluntary evacuation order for Cameron County, but only for people living in low-lying areas and really mostly RV parks. And there are a significant number of those here. Now, we haven't seen people leaving yet. I mean, they've come here for the weekend, and the forecast for the next 48 hours is pretty darn good. They are also handing out uh, sandbags in Brownsville, which is about 45 minutes from here, and here at South Padre Island, Lindsay. You know, I saw those two kids frolicking behind you. I, I, you obviously didn't see it because you were walking toward the camera. Um, but it, it makes me think of what just happened there and, and the fact that we had shark attacks in this area. I think at least four people, right? Yes, and, and, and all four were not in water much deeper than when those two children are wow. in right now. Two people were bitten by sharks here yesterday. A third was grazed by a shark, and a fourth was hurt fending off a shark. Now, they do believe, and they're not certain, that it was all the same shark, and that shark headed out to more open water. But yet again, there are thousands of people on this beach and beaches all across the country, but certainly here along the Texas coast for a long holiday weekend. And it's still early here, but it's going to be interesting to see later today, Lindsay, whether that keeps people out of the water. Has I had the been... same concern you did when I saw those yeah. kids. <laughs> I mean, you know, you want them to enjoy, you know, but I mean, has there been any talk of people closing, the, the, the community closing the beaches? There has not. Um, you know, we saw that dramatic video, but uh, there's no talk of closing the beaches today. I think it would take something like another attack for that to happen. Right now, people are starting to come and they're expecting big crowds. Ahead of what might happen here Sunday into Monday, the forecast is great for today and tomorrow. Okay. Janet tracking two different threats. Thank you so much.